student notices a guest walking past him and heading towards the kitchen area. The area the guest is planning to go into is staff-only access, as it is a hygienic environment where food production is implemented. Anyone going inside should either be a member of staff or should wear the required outfit. It is a busy time and there are no other personnel who notice the guest, so the student feels responsible to intervene. The hotel accommodates a multinational clientele. The student and the guest are from different countries, and so they must speak to each other in English. Level 1, Remembering, Perceiving, Self-Orientation Hey! Stop! Don't go there! It is the kitchen! Why are you shouting at me? I need to speak to the chef about a special diet for my daughter. No it is the kitchen! You cannot go there! No! You are being rude! It is important! I need to speak to the chef! Staff only! Kitchen! No! The most essential element in most forms of communication is language skills. The student is not in good command of the language he needs to speak in order to communicate with the guest. His training dictates to follow the rules, and despite the fact that he does not mean to be rude, his lack of language skills makes him come across as rude. Communication is established and he prevents the guest going into the kitchen area, but the results of his actions are likely to upset the customer. Level 2, Distant Understanding, Imitation, Instruction Interest Hello sir, you cannot go in there, it is the kitchen area, nobody is allowed in there. Hi, I must speak to the chef. The chef? You have a problem? I don't know where he is, later maybe. I am staying in this hotel, I need to speak to the chef about a special diet for my daughter, it is important. I am sorry. I don't know where chef is. Please ask later. The student has some understanding that the guest has a problem, as he is attempting to go inside the kitchen. His training dictates that he cannot allow the guest into the kitchen area. He recalls his previous experience about people trying to go inside a no-go area, and acts the same as other members of staff, by explaining the rules to the customer. He follows his training but he refrains from taking further responsibility and providing further assistance. Level 3, Practical Understanding, Applying, Motivation Excuse me sir, you are going into the kitchen area. I am afraid you cannot do that. It is for staff only. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that. I have looked around but I could not see the chef. I need to speak to him. The chef? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help you. Yes. My daughter is on a special diet. She can only eat certain food with special ingredients. I want to ask the chef if he can arrange a special menu for my daughter. I understand. It sounds very important. I am a trainee at the moment and I am not qualified at cooking or ingredients yet. You are right. You need to speak to the chef. He is not here at the moment. Let me speak to my supervisor about this. Thank you. The student is aware of his environment and intervenes when he believes it is right to do so. Communicational skills are at a higher level although not the highest. There is politeness and courtesy in his choice of words. Explanation regarding why the guest is stopped is provided to some level but not adequately. Practical understanding of the problem is present and the student is motivated to provide further assistance. He understands terms such as problem, need, special, diet and takes a step into further assistance. However, he fails to comfort the customer with his choice of words. Level 4, Analysis, Deeper Understanding, Independent Action, Determination to Succeed Excuse me, sir? You are headed towards the kitchen area. That room is for staff only. You need to be a member of the kitchen staff, or to wear appropriate clothing. And also have the authorization of the food and beverage manager to be able to go inside. I am going to have to ask you not to enter. My apologies but these are the rules. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that. I have looked around but I could not see the chef. I need to speak to him. The chef? Is there a problem? 
Maybe I can help you. Yes. My daughter is on a special diet. She can only eat certain food with special ingredients. I want to ask the chef if he can arrange a special menu for my daughter. I see. It sounds very important. I can see that you are a little frustrated but rest assured, we have a very professional team here and they can work it out for you. I am a trainee at the moment and I am not qualified at cooking or ingredients yet. Please try and remain calm. I will go and see the chef and ask him to come and speak to you. Thank you very much for your concern. The student is aware of the work area rules and his priority is to follow them. However, he is also perceptive about the psychology of the guest, having a deeper understanding of the person and analyzing his body language. He reminds the guest about the health and safety rules so as to provide a reason why he is not allowed in the kitchen. His verbal communication is clear but adamant. He also attempts to comfort the guest even though he cannot go in. His word choices, mannerisms and willingness to help is a reassurance for the guest that the student will take it further. Level 5, Knowledge Transfer, Creation, Internalization Excuse me, sir? You are headed towards the kitchen area. The kitchen is a staff-only area. As per the health and safety regulations, you need to be a member of the kitchen staff. Or wear appropriate clothing and have the authorization of the food and beverage manager to be able to go inside. I am going to have to ask you not to enter. My apologies but these are the rules. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that. I have looked around but I could not see the chef. I need to speak to him. The chef? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help you. Do you mind telling me what you need? Sure. My daughter is on a special diet. She can only eat certain food with special ingredients. I want to ask the chef if he can arrange a special menu for my daughter. I see. It sounds very important. I can see that you are a little frustrated but rest assured, we have a very professional team here and they can work it out for you. I am a trainee at the moment and I am not qualified at cooking or ingredients yet. Please take a seat in the restaurant and relax. I will go and see the chef, tell him what you have told me, and make sure that he comes to speak to you. I will be right back. Thank you very much for your concern. The purpose of the whole conversation at this level is not much different than level 1. In both levels, the priority is to prevent an unauthorized person entering the area where food is prepared as it is against the health and safety rules and regulations. However, the conveyance of the idea differs significantly due to the application of communication skills including verbal and physical communication, body language, gestures, choice of words and even intonation. Although some of these cannot be shown in a text version, the student is not able to provide assistance with the problem as he is not qualified. Regardless, it is not about solving the guest's problem, but it is about explaining the rules to him and providing the reassurance that the situation will be handled. 